Fort Griffin, state historical site. Griffin State Historical Site would be complete without coming to check out the historical site itself. Now there's a, a visitor center, little museum, and then there's the fort grounds themselves. They do provide a couple of golf carts if you get here and there's, there's here, they'll give you the key. I don't think there's a charge for those. There's an electrical charge but not a financial charge. Well, I have Little Red, so I'm not gonna need a golf cart. We're gonna first walk through the museum. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with reading every panel, but we are gonna, uh, you'll be able to pause the video and read the panels, should you so desire. So, let's go check it out. Howdy, sir. Howdy, howdy. How are you? I am wonderful. How about yourself? Pretty good. Are you camping? I am. Okay, you're filming. Yeah, and I've, I've got the sticker thing in the window already. I was here yesterday, but the lighting was horrible, so I came back. Cool. I'll let you do your thing. All right, thanks. So we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on, on any of the, the panels, but you can pause them and, and read them should you so desire. The main thing is I want to give you an, an overview perspective so that you can you know whether or not you want to come visit this historic site. The Fort Griffin was, was pretty critical. In, in the West, Western history, not just for Texas, but for all of the United States, these frontier forts really were crucial in a lot of ways. At one point, this was a, a Texas State Park, but they reorganized. And the, the locals in the area, uh, I had a conversation with someone in Albany this morning, and she was of the impression that this was still a state park. We're done in here. Let's go outside and check that out. We're gonna, I'm gonna shift gears with the camera and I'm gonna do the, the hyperlapse thing on the scooter. So let's go have some fun. So we're gonna do the max lens. This is a bronze casting of the layout of the fort. So we're gonna, we're just gonna cruise around. They've, they've got some pathways and some displays. Find a key. Of course, I may not show, you may not see every bit of this, but we'll, I'll do what I can. At one point it was deemed that this was unfit for human habitation, 
but they continued to stay anyway. All right, I'm gonna seek the camera. Looks like it's gonna be a, a bit of a rough ride. So this is the well. It's a big well. <laughs> That's a really big well. Oh well. So one of, one of the things that uh, made Fort Griffin uninhabitable was a lot of the structures were built out of green lumber, meaning it wasn't cured. So it was when it cured, it was they built the building, and then it cured. And so there were. Lots of holes in the walls. Let's see if we can get some light. Not much light. Yeah, not hardly any light at all to work with. Now this is a reconstruction that was built by the by the CCC back in the day. First sergeant's quarters. Many of the first sergeants had their own quarters. That's the remains of a foundation. They measured 10 feet by 15. And they had a stone fireplace. So most of the buildings were a wood frame with either fabric or clapboard Kind of like this. It's a board and batten. In case you're wondering, that's the board, that's the batten. So that's what it looked like. You know, if you're an RVer, you can appreciate that's a lot of space. That's a whole lot of space for one person. this would be a barracks hut so what we just the ones we just saw were for the first sergeants so that's the first sergeant's hut he was by himself this is the barracks hut this was four guys same amount of space actually it looks like it might be just a little bit deeper four bunks a fireplace and a little table. Now we're getting kind of crowded. <laughs> getting intimate. Very much like being on a Navy ship. Of course, no, no military fort would be complete without the parade ground where the flag is flown troops march in formation the library a hundred titles that's pretty impressive wonder how they know images of the library I guess military records show that they had a library This is the sutler's store. These were civilians that had kind of like the, kind of a, a commissary on the military base. It was actually a pretty big foot, big building. A lot of space. Means they had a lot of stuff stuff to sell. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy road. So of course the officer, 
they hit it good. This was left of the officer's quarters. They had a great view. I'm not sure how well it comes through on the, the max lens. See for miles. Administration building. Of course, this is going to be one of the larger buildings because this is where the, the commandant, the commander, would have his office. Not sure what we're looking at here. It was important though. I guess they're trying to protect the plaster. burning stove feeding into the chimney there. All right. Onward. To the commanding officer's quarters. Of course he had he had the bigger biggest house of all the officers. And it was on the other side of the parade ground from the enlisted preferential position. Hospital compound. So I was wrong, it's not the latrines. Dry well, I guess. The hospital had its own well or cistern or, or what? Let's see, does it see? A dedicated latrine and a morgue. Okay, so that's the dedicated latrine maybe. I don't know, that doesn't look like a latrine. It could be. That was built off of the ground, 18 inches off the ground to improve circulation. It was also the morgue, so it would be smelly. Bombay Road. Of course, if you're on the golf cart, it's not that bumpy. But if you're on Little Red, who has tire pressure of 50 psi and no shocks on the rear end, it is bumpy. So this is the bakery. It actually is one of the few buildings that remains from the, an original construction. I don't guess we get to go inside. 
Well, that's not very fair. We only get to peek in the windows. And I know you can't see very well. This is the magazine, the powder magazine. This is where they stored the stuff that goes boom and bang. There you go. So they have pistols, rifles, balls, and powder. Very thick walled building. Because you didn't want it to go boom. Does it say how thick the walls are? Uh, doesn't say. Built of stone. Got broke into, and somebody stole some rifles and revolvers sold on the black market down in the flat. The next point of interest, we get to go fast to see it. There you have it. What a commanding view! That's where the flat was. And we've come full circle. There you have it. One more time, we didn't get to look at We didn't look at it. I, I shortchanged you. Fort Griffin was built without defensive walls because direct attacks upon 19th century U.S. Army forts in western Texas were uncommon. There's actually a picture of the officers' quarters. 1872. Alright, we're done here. Let's go back over to the campsite. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd really be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am so deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. That's why I get to come out to places like this. And for my patrons, you guys rock. Thank you so much. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?